Good afternoon. Welcome to Chart Busters, the show where we're going to highlight all the buzzing stocks of the day. I am Reem Matanduka. With me is Nigel D'Souza. Well, it's a tough start to the trading session. So down close to about a half a percent. The mid caps are at the low point of the day. So they've lost close to about three fourths of a percentage point. Um, in the next 30 minutes, we're going to be cracking a lot of the buzzing stocks. We've got Jindal Stainless on our radar, Uflex as well, which came out with a fairly decent set of numbers. So all that and more in the next 30 minutes. Thank you. Absolutely, Reema. Well, we are holding on to the 11,000 odd mark. Let's kickstart the show with all the top stories as we speak. Tata Motors, that's a stock in focus that reacts to a shocker in the third quarter. JLR posts a loss for the third straight quarter versus expectations of a profit. The consolidated profit impacted by one time impairment cost. For JLR. Raymond bucks the trend. The stock gains over 7% after the management says that media reports relating to related party transactions is entirely misleading and misconstrued. Clarifies that all related party transactions are transparently disclosed and undertaken in compliance with the laws. And Auto Pharma, that's in the red in an overall weak market, even as the company posts strong earnings in the third quarter. The management points out that the Unit 1 and Unit 9 inspection was completed last week and they did not receive any data integrity observations. India Bulls Housing Finance in focus after SoftBank invests 2,800 crores in the company's associate Oak North Bank Limited. The management tells CNBC TV18 that the total valuation of Oak North Bank is now around 2.7 to 2.8 billion dollars. All right, we're holding on to the 11,000 odd mark, but the Nifty's at the low point of the day. Is that the day where we end the week on, uh, you know, on a, on a down note? Can the Nifty slide to the odd? Is this dip, the, you know, going to be bought into? Ashwini Gulchal joins in. Ashwini, what's the trade at this point of time? 11,000, merely holding on to that. Are we bracing ourselves uh, for a weak second half of trading session? See, this looks like uh, maybe, uh, you know, above 11,000, a false breakout happened. And, uh, you know, several large stocks like Reliance, State Bank, uh, things which went up while the market was flat to down. Uh, they are now seeing a strong profit booking, plus there's an overall global slowdown uh, that's around the corner. So follow through buying post yesterday's policy has been missing. So I won't be surprised if uh, you know 11,000 gets taken out and we get back towards the uh, 10,000, 950, 960 type of zone because uh, the early morning decline uh, should have had uh, some buying come in, uh, coming in around 11,000, 11,020. And that uh, not happening and plus uh, mid cap, the Nifty Junior is down now over 300 points. It looks like uh, the market will face uh, a fairly severe uh, selling pressure uh, once 11,000 gets taken out. Having said that, uh, a Titan is a buy with a stop of 1060, target of 1095. PNB is a sell with a stop of 75, target of 68. And uh, DHFL is a sell with a stop of 114, target of 102. Ashwini, any disclosures? We have uh, short positions on uh, Nifty now. Okay. Um, thanks so much for joining in.